Hey everybody, it is Craig from the Vinyl Record Player. Today, we'll be talking five LPs that are either impossible to find on streaming services or really difficult to stream. Stick around. And we're back, uh, like I say, here to talk about five records that are basically, they're not on the streaming services. This doesn't mean, of course, that this can't change tomorrow. Uh, and I've actually got a video plan for, because that's one of my criteria when I'm buying records is, can I stream this record? And if I can't, it becomes even more lucrative to me because I'm like, you know what? I mean, I, this is the only way I can hear this song. Uh, a lot of people do throw up albums on YouTube, and that's great, but it's not the same as being able to stream it, uh, which is often, again, why I buy the records. But enough about me. Let's talk about some of these uh, records that are either unstreamable or possible to find on the streaming service. Let's talk about 1977's More Sex and More Soul. We're talking about Roy C. Uh, Roy C is pretty new to me, but he's basically like a, a Southern Soul guy. Uh, his sound doesn't change. Like, if you like your James Carr, your Otis Redding type of uh, ballads and et cetera, et cetera, then you'll like Roy C. Uh, pretty much I don't think any of his records. Uh, his full name is Roy C. Hammond. Um, I don't know that really almost any of his records are available. Um, really kind of a weird character. I believe he was on the Brunswick label for a good period of time. This actually is... Oh, no, this is a Mercury. This is on uh, Mercury. So he was on Mercury, not Brunswick. Anyway, um, great record. Uh, you know, he has a song called Sex and Soul. Obviously, I believe that one's from 73. Um, and yeah, so basically, great, great record. Fun. If you like Southern Soul music, if you see this one in the store, pick it up. Uh, I don't know. Like I said, I got this for like 10 bucks. I got it in Canada. Uh, so yeah, I was happy to get it. Number two, basically unstreamable, although you can find the singles, but that really kind of, you're missing out on Jerry Butler's Sings Assorted Sounds with the aid of assorted friends and relatives. Uh, yeah, unwieldy ass title, terrible. But um, this record is, I think, one of his best 70s records. The story behind this record, basically he kind of started a work, uh, a uh, songwriter's workshop and brought together a bunch of people he knew, including uh, Chuck Jackson, who uh, is the brother of Jesse Jackson, the politician. Um, and they said about basically making, I believe not just one album, but I, I, you know, I think a lot of those songs ended up going into further albums. The one following this is the Sagittarius movement. Uh, there may also be some contributions from that. Um, as far as uh, great songs on this one, Special Memory was a single. Oh, great song. But um, How Did We Lose It, I think, was also a single, too. Um, and then, uh, obviously, another favorite is uh, with Barbara Lee Eager. Another one of a very, like, a, a longer series of, of their duets together. Uh, really, really great duet combo. If it's real, what I feel. Uh, that is my key cut. It's just, it just doesn't even mess around. It just cuts into the jam right away. We're, we're talking like chorus in the first 10 seconds and you're like, oh, love this song. Uh, but again, this album, I picked this album up for five bucks. It's, it's almost embarrassing how great this album is. I got it for five bucks. Again, a lot of these Jerry Butler albums, particularly his early 70s works, you can get from pretty cheap uh, but wow, uh, really, really good stuff. Um, this is a interesting uh, super group uh, called Hill Barata Etheridge. This I just picked up because um, basically Etheridge is Chris Etheridge from the Birds, and I believe uh, Scott is is something Joel Scott. His name may just be Joel Scott. He played with Canned Heat for a little bit. And Barata, I think Barata's the drummer. Anyway, uh, kind of a cool uh, blues rock album. This is called L.A. Getaway. 
Uh, nothing like blow away outstanding, but I think I was just so curious. It was just so hard to find even clips of this that I bought it probably about a couple years ago. Again, good record, good record to throw on at a party. No one's really going to be like, what the hell is this? They're going to be like, oh, that's pretty rocking there, son. And uh, yeah, uh, like I say, uh, this is Scott uh, Hill, Hill Barata Etheridge. Bit of a super group. I believe this is from 70 or 71. Uh, I think it is from, it's on Atlantic, 70 or 71. This one, I, I don't even know that this one will ever be available on streaming, let's be honest. This is a super faded cover for John Kay's Forgotten Songs and Unsung Heroes. Um, this has got a pretty cool uh, gatefold. Um, there's the man himself, John Kay. Of course, lead singer of Steppenwolf. Um, there's a couple of his other uh, band members. Here's, here's the back of the LP. Uh, not available mostly. Um, and I think if you look at a lot of the Steppenwolf stuff, um, uh, a lot of it is not as available uh, on streaming services. And uh, I think it, it has something to do with, I mean, John Kay is still alive, right? Uh, but this album and his uh, other album, uh, other solo album from around that time, uh, which is called My Sport in Life, I believe, uh, both just drop dead classics. This one is really, really great. Um, really great kind of acoustic stuff on it. A lot of like, you know, straight blues. Um, but again, this is incredibly hard to find streaming. Uh, and you know what? I think I picked this up for about three or four, three or four or five bucks. If you find a copy of this, it's worth it, I would say, for uh, many a mile alone. But, I mean, uh, basically, you win again. There's tons of really good uh, tracks on this. And, again, it's one of those records that most people just don't even know about, uh, which is a shame. Uh, real winner. This is a record I recently uh, picked up. This is a Concert in Blues from, I believe it's from 77. It's Willie Hutch. Motown has got a real shifty um, sort of streaming strategy, it seems to me. They're, it's not always easy to find their records. Willie Hutch is one of those artists where, you know, you can find The Mac, you can find Foxy Brown. You're not going to find Concert in Blues. Uh, this is a really good record. It, it has uh, Party Down, which also was, I, I believe, on a 75 LP, Ode to My Lady. Uh, but, I mean, Party Down, oh, good song. Um, Stormy Weather, a cover of Stormy Weather, but it's big, it's strings, it's, it's Hutch, it's pure Hutch. Um, this is a great record. The pressing I don't love, it's a little noisy, uh, but, um, another classic by Willie Hutch. I believe almost all of his LPs, uh, between, as soon as he joined Motown, uh, so from like about 73 up, outside of the soundtracks, those are all almost impossible to find, um, like on streaming services. Uh, again though, a lot of funky people have put these uh, albums up on YouTube as a single clip. Love those people. And uh, we'll close out the five here with a, a bit of a twofer, I guess, but this is Denise LaSalle's Trapped by a Thing Called Love. Denise LaSalle, uh, fantastic singer, songwriter, uh, this, of course, is her debut. I think it's from 72 or 73 on, on the Westbound label. Uh, we got ourselves a little bit of gatefold here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh, there's Denise. There's Denise. Um, so, yeah, title track is good. Uh, Heartbreaker of the Year is good. This whole album is good. It, and as a twofer, let's also talk about On the Loose from, I think this one's 74. Might be wrong on this one. Um, at any rate, another classic Denise LaSalle LP. All three of her, of her LPs on um, West Brown are not available for streaming. And, you know, like I say, someone may throw up a YouTube clip. And, again, definitely worth checking out. So, let's just round her all up here. Uh, we are talking five LPs that are difficult to stream. Uh, trapped by a thing called Love. Willie Hutch, almost anything Willie Hutch, but a concert in blues. John Kay, classic solo album, Forgotten Songs and Unsung Heroes. 
This is Scott Burbat or Hill Burbata Etheridge, or yeah, good one. And of course, Jerry Butler. Almost everything from 70 to 75 is difficult to find. And then finally, Roy C. That's what we got. So those are five albums. Again, this could all change. Uh, a lot of the albums that I buy, I'm like, I look on the streaming service, I can't find it. I'm like, oh, I'll buy that record. Year later, we're on the streaming services. That's great. We want people to hear these LPs because they're classic. Uh, and uh, yeah. So that's my video for today. Um, thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. If you know of any records uh, that also aren't streaming that you love, let me know. I, I'd love to hear them myself. Uh, so yeah, have yourself a good one, and uh, we'll talk soon.